How's my face? Do I look beautiful? Mm, very beautiful. All right. Well, it's uh, 5.14 right now in Norway. We're waiting for the train to the airport. And um, we are leaving for Thailand. We are leaving Norway and we don't know when we're coming back. Hey good people, Johnny here again. Welcome back to the channel. So, it's been some changes in my life lately. Um, I had to move out of the country. I have been leaving Norway and been gone for about two weeks. And I'm about to tell you why. Uh, right now, I'm home with the boys, the boys with the toys, yeah. talking about camera stuff. I got a few visitors today. I think this is uh, visit number five or four or five today. This is our last day here in Norway. We're packing tonight, we're going to Oslo tomorrow, and uh, leaving for Thailand on Saturday. Damn early in the morning. So it's like everybody just want to come and say goodbye and give hugs and. Uh, Back in Fort Chiang Mai, and I want my iMac with me to make sure that I have a good workstation when I am staying in Thailand to work. Yeah, so it's going in here. Probably going to stop it some more, but we'll see. Very nice, that bag got jammed, and that's my iMac. <laughs> Pray for me, honey. Yes, Jenny son. Six forty-two still um still uh, forty minutes fifty minutes until the plane leaves. So while spending time on an airport, it's important to spend the time wisely. So I'm trying to dive into emails and get um, most uh, as much work done as I can, uh, especially with client work and follow them up. Um, I still do web design. People that don't know that, um, WordPress and Shopify is my game as my main income. But I also, you know, train people how to um, both expand their awareness, their minds, spiritually, mentally, physically, so they can detach from the norms and create the life they want. So that was my pitch for today. So for the past months, there's been some changes, um, and I had to move out of the country. At least I chose to do that. You see, the thing is that for the last years. I have been a single guy. I was into a relationship that hit me pretty deep and I was dead serious about that. But I went straight to hell, um, out of my control, really. And um, I have mainly been focused on work uh, and my goal to my passion the last years. I think it was in August, September. I made a new connection online. There was this girl that found me on YouTube. We connected on Instagram and uh, we had a casual chat going on and uh, this sooner and later turned out to be a little bit more serious. This lady that you probably have seen before in my previous videos came to visit me in Norway in um, October for the first time last year and we had an instant connection and uh, she then came later now this year to, um, to move in with me in Norway. But the thing is you know, you're not completely free on this planet. Uh, there's some certain rules and regulations. You know, paperwork takes you time. It takes time to, to 
you know, complete all paperwork for her to be able to stay in Norway. And uh, we saw that we won't be able to do it and make it and get that approved within those 90 days. And what do we have to do? The thing is that if we wanted to stay together, as we of course wanted to do, we simply had to ditch the country. And I can't go back to the United States. You know, you can't move around freely. If you think this is a free world, uh, you have to think twice about that. In our situation, it's kind of a little bit annoying. For us to be able to stay together, we actually had to escape to another place on this planet. And we basically decided to go to Thailand. fucking heat we come to. From 10 degrees to close to 40. That's awesome. The security guard there, he wasn't really happy with us uh, adding um, three, a three month stay in, uh, in uh, Thailand because it's maximum one month to start with and then you have to reapply. Everything is good. We went out the exit and now we got a SIM card. Um, so we are right on 4D. Those guys were fucking fast. Holy shit, that took a few minutes. Check our passports. Um, shove in a new SIM card and uh, my phone got connected right away with a good 4D network. So when you come to the airport in, uh, in Bangkok, there's a free shuttle bus going to the other airports. We need to get to the other airport to, uh, to fly to, uh, to Chiang Mai. If we choose to fly, if not care, and um, that's where we're heading now. So uh, we came out of gate number three, uh, and you walk straight on to the shuttle bus. You just get a stamp on your hand, and uh, you're good to go to the next airport. It's always good to get to a Starbucks because uh, I mean the standards is pretty good and uh, you had to have a good table high tech and sit and do, do some work. And uh, coffee is crap though. I have no clue on how to make an Americano. Actually today it was pretty nice to uh, to get some priority boarding because I'm kind of tired. I'm tired of my feet. It's been a few hours. It'd be nice to just lay on a bed. Yeah, we're looking forward into the apartment. Fuck is hot here. Yeah, so this um this little flower here. Uh, it's tired, so we're gonna put her to bed pretty soon. As soon as we get our luggage, we're gonna get um, a car uh, using the Grab app. We have landed in Chiang Mai, at least our temporary destination. We have checked in at our apartment that we got through Airbnb. And it's pretty nice. It's um, kind of a little bit different than what we saw on the app, but and especially the location because it's, I mean, the door goes straight out into the whole front of the part of the condo here in the parking lot. But there's um, yeah, we have the Mayan Mall right next to it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, there's a pool right outside here. Uh, the shower and bathroom is really nice. The room is really nice, actually. So, 
Um, I think now for today we're going to head out to the mall, get some food and um, plan for tomorrow, go walk around, go out and and start on our list for checking out different apartments in Chiang Mai. So in this situation, we're talking about a special kind of a love uh, that I have been dreaming about for years. You could say it was a soulmate and twin flame connection because this was kind of an instant ignition and an instant match. We have kind of an, a communication and a balance and harmony that have um, become pretty strong for both of us. And that's why we choose to stick together. And um, the only option we had was to go to Thailand and continue our journey together. And I would say that finally um, I was able to move on with my dreams. So it was kind of um, a blessing in, it, in one way, but also kind of annoying that we're not able to you know, freely move around on this planet and that Marbella had maximum 90 days to just visit me in Norway and then being forced to go back to her country. I'm also not able to stay in the United States more than 90 days. So we, uh, what do we have to do? We have to move out of the Schengen zone and that's why we decided to go to Thailand. Until I start missing it. <laughs>